Hello. Today we will learn how to create compartments in thermal desktop. Compartments are representations of fluid volume using just 1D lumps. We will see here that for this case, we have two geometries inside the model. One geometry represented the entire fluid volume, which is in this case called tank volume and another geometry that represents the solid structure of the shell of the tank, with its goal, shell tank. If we visualize here, we can see that we have the elements that correspond to both volumes. And for the creation of the compartment, we will need some of the domains that were previously created linked to each one of these geometries. There are different ways to create compartments in Thermal Desktop. We can find them inside the Thermal tab, Flowcat, and there's going to be a bottom called Compartment there. Also, if we go to the Fluid tab, inside Create Fluid, we will see that the compartment bottom is also there. Another way is to go to the Thermal menu and inside Fluid Modeling at the end we will also be able to find the compartment button. If we click on it, we see here that we are being asked to select a solid for the compartment bay. We can do this using the Moto browser, the domains, or the user interface. If we go to domains, the program detected the domains linked to solids. In this case, the one that represents the fluid volume is the liquid volume solid. We click on it and we press enter. And then we have to select the surfaces linked to this compartment. In this case, the surfaces are on the wall of the liquid solid. We click domain and there we have to select the liquid wall in surfaces. In this way, we will be able to create the tie between the lump of the fluid and the nodes that represent the surface of the tank wall. A new window will appear where the settings of the compartment can be manually changed. Here, for example, we can include or exclude the radiation and we can also create new ties between the lump that represent the compartments and other parts of our model. For the moment, we won't create any other tie and we will click OK. Now the compartment has been created and we can see all the elements linked to it. In the Preference tab, we can change the visualization option. If we list by compartment in our model browser, we will see all the elements linked to this new compartment.